All right, collapsing. Let's try to be serious here. Today's video is not, I repeat, it is not what I had planned for today. What I was gonna do today, hold on, let me get it. Uh, I was gonna unbox this bad boy right here. Yes, it is a drone, <laughs> very nice. But in order to fly this drone, you need a smartphone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we have a problem. You all know what I'm talking about. Y'all have seen the title. It's fucked up. So anyways, in the last couple of videos, you may have seen these, if you know what these are. Of course, you know what these are. <sighs> these are? <laughs> of course, you all know what these are. How hard can it be? Wristbands, festivals, you name them, I'll go to them. Why am I talking like I'm rapping? Seriously, during summer holidays, I like to go to a couple of them, you know good vibes and last week I actually went to a slightly bigger one let me see if I can find the wristband PKP 16 aka Puckle Pop If you are going to translate the name of this festival from Dutch to English, it's literally called Pimple Pop or Zid Pop or whatever you want to call it. It's weird, but I like Anyways, it was a bit of a longer one, four days actually, or well five if you choose to stay there overnight at the campsite. Which of course I do because I only take the real deal. But anyways, there were a lot of great bands, a lot of people I was really excited to see in real life. Bring me the horizon. I also really liked the Antwoord. If you know them, they're South Africans. Dude, holy shit. These guys are animals life, seriously. One thing that was actually really funny was Ninja was actually dissing Rihanna because Rihanna went before them and she was almost 50 minutes late. She was more backstage than on stage, and I think she was lip syncing too. So I don't hate on Rihanna, but it was just an overall bad performance. Now what Ninja did is he went on stage in his underwear to sing a little bit to prove that they aren't lip syncing. I actually filmed this, but hey, I don't have a fucking phone. But luckily I found someone that did post this on YouTube, so a shout out to that person. I will also link his channel in the description. Okay, sh sh check it out <laughs> Check it out, there's no, no backtracks, no backing vocals, this shit is live, motherfucker, no lip sync, no lip sync, motherfucker, no lip sync, the iPhone is live, motherfucker. Anyways, there were a lot of other great performances like Lucas Graham, um, our last night band, which is a personal favorite. Something about that. I was standing in the front row of our last night band. I really enjoyed it. And one of the lead singers, Matt, was actually kind enough to go to the front row, give people some high fives, take some pictures. And I got a picture with him, with my phone, and so did my friend, with my phone. <sighs> But anyways, let's not run ahead of things. As I was saying, everything went ever so well, except for the last two nights. So, the second last night, we had a couple of drinks. Maybe one too many, because I fell in like a sewer stream. Like, that totally fucked up my night. Basically, on the other side of the stream, there were a lot of people like, Yeah, you got this, you can jump over it, come over. Stupid as I was, I didn't really realize how drunk I was. And that happened. But it doesn't matter, okay? I'm young too, you piece of shit. Anyways, most of you probably clicked away from this video already, seeing how boring it is. So let's get to the point. The last night, the last performance at the main stage, Oscar and the Wolf, great performance. There were tons of fireworks going on in the end, it was really beautiful. Now I know that I still had my phone there, because, you know, silly as I am, I went to some people, fake interviewing them with my phone about what they thought about the performance. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, we decided to go to the boiler room then, which is a different stage and it's always going until 4 a.m. while the main stage already stopped at midnight. And it was the last night, so we wanted to have some fun. And going from the main stage to the boiler room, this is where it all happened. Everyone was just going to the boiler room. It was one big stream from main stage to boiler room. And while we were going there, one of my friends just 
decided to tell random people, Yo, this guy can do a backflip. Before I knew it, there were a bunch of people around me saying backflip, backflip, backflip. First I was like, no, I'm not gonna be the show off again, right? But eventually I gave in, did a backflip, and everybody went like... <laughs> no joke, that's exactly what went. It was pretty epic. But I think, while doing this backflip, I think this is where I lost my phone. Anyways, moving on, I also got this hat here. It says knowledge and power. But you know what? Fuck the power. There we go. Knowledge. The more you learn, the more you earn. Wow. Shout out to my buddy Ty Lopez. Ladies and gentlemen, so let's just try not to get off topic anymore. So we were almost at the boiler room. And I felt in my pocket. And that's when it happened. Panic. Panic all around the show. Now me and one of my friends decided to go back, look on the ground, see if we could find it. I asked everyone I saw there if they saw my phone, like it was my baby, seriously. But nobody had it. Eventually one guy told me, dude, you and I, we both know that you're not gonna find your phone. Just go to the lost and found within half an hour and they might have it there. So that's what I did. I just kept looking and then went to the lost and found, which was apparently already closed by then. So I decided to just go to bed already. I didn't feel like partying anyways. My friend came with me. Dude, you're a really good friend, man. Shout out to you. Show yourself in the comments. The day after, worried as fuck, I just went to the lost and found straight away. They still didn't have it there. Then they told me that every lost item will go to the police of that town. So what I did was when I got home, I instantly contacted the police there and they said, no, we don't have it yet. Call later on this week. Then I call back to the exact same police station. The same guy picks up and tells me, oh, um, lost items of the festivals are not delivered here anymore. Instead, you will have to email the festival itself. Fucking bastard. Why did he not tell me this the first day already? So anyways, I emailed them right away. And up until this day, they haven't replied yet. So I just gave up. I gave up. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So anyways, I'm gonna get a new phone soon so I can finally unbox this drone because it's in my room for like two weeks already. It's so painful. By the way, this is my 13th video. That might just be my bad luck. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. Now you all know what time it is. It's time to say goodbye to each other. And usually, I just roll my outro. But that song is way too happy. So instead, I decided, let us take a moment. And let us pray for the spank phone. Comment down below, hashtag RIP the spank phone. This phone has been with me the entire YouTube journey so far. So let us end this video with a recreation of our outro, but then a sadder version. Don't get too excited. I cannot sing at all, but we gotta do this. I'm so sorry everyone, but anyways, as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage, or hop if you wanna just bounce to my leverage. The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding, so show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding. It ain't fool's gold, it's gold fool. Can't stop, won't stop, keeping it old school. So cool. Big spoon is my numbs, I plume, I keep it popping like a needle in a new balloon. And if you don't know by now, then you need more schooling. Let loose, get, get stupid, got more flavor than I know what to do with. So get your hands up if you're part of the movement and bump to the pump to the baseline. I made a rock before your phone had FaceTime. Yes, yeah, serene, you know my steeds. I stay fresh to death like I'm drowning in Febreze.